got a busy day here, but now I'm ready to enjoy myself with some TriMet Scanner from the Rip City News. And he's got some interesting footage here, too, from his trip that I'm sure you're going to enjoy as much as I did. All right, here we go. 7508, something about priority seating. Priority. If somebody has a cart in a priority seating area and they are not ADA, then they need to relinquish that area to an ADA passenger. Roger, this was just a guy that needed to get on, and so I didn't have room for him. So was I just, am I supposed to push, like, pass up overload, or just worry, not worry about it? I just told him the next one would be here in 15 minutes. I didn't have any room. Okay, well, if it's an ADA pass up, it needs to be an ADA pass up message. <laughs> okay. Did we, did we listen to this? I don't know. Sounds familiar. 805, cleaners, what cleaners? <laughs> 805, visit all. 805, how can I help? Yeah, I'm a board operator and I haven't done this route in a while. Can you tell me where the cleaners uh, should be? Are they at the layover at Winchell or the Rose Quarter maybe? The folks are disinfecting every four hours? Yeah, let me find out real quick. Okay, let's see. Where are the cleaners? I'm going to make a phone call and get right back to you, okay? Okay, appreciate you looking into it. Thank you. You're welcome. 14 o'clock. Cleaners, what cleaners? Okay, 67, a scream, <laughs> description of female. Just drive, fool. You know it's going to be a good one. Yes, good afternoon. This is 667 at uh, Collins Corner, facing Columbia. Hey, that description of the female that you were looking for, um, there looks like there's one waiting on the, and I could be totally wrong, but a uh, possible description of that type over uh, on, uh, what is it, between 9th and 10th on Jefferson, south side of the arts building. Okay. Um, and was she just hanging out there, or what was she doing? She was hanging out, and she, there was another person with her at that time. Mm -hmm. All right. I copy. Thank you very much for that info. Have a great day. Thank you. Yeah, just drive, fool. God. Where's the cleaners? Here we go. Eight oh four Rose Quarter Transit Center East. Hey, eight oh four. Um, are there cleaners there at Rose Quarter to clean your bus, or is there a different location that you've noticed? No cleaners here, and. Uh, no, I, I don't recall running into cleaners so far. <laughs> okay. Thank you for answering my question. You have yourself a wonderful day. 1413. <laughs> yeah, let me look at something real quick here. It was just brought to my attention, and it's uh, looking pretty... Let me see this. Come on, come on, come on. Where's it? I just retweeted something. Where is it? How come it's not here? Well, I don't know why it's not showing up, but uh, let me read you. Uh, PSU report, 38,000 homeless in Portland. That's 38,000. Multnomah, Washington, Clackamas need to create a regional approach, which is more than 38,000. And that's in 2017. Holy fuck, man. The figure is more than five times the estimates drawn from the federally. I, I, it was more like 10 times the amount that they've been talking about. Last time I read something, it said something like uh, 5,000 or 3,800. A great majority of people experience. Homeless are, are invisible. Wow. That is fucking absurd, isn't it? Wow. There you go. There's your ditch, folks. Get in it. All okay, right, back to this. 7734, gasoline. Hey, this is 7734. So I picked up a gentleman at the housing project right there before 47th. 
and he had a box and he was like, um, I took him one stop I kinda, because I think I did in the box that. that he has, he has gasoline. Yeah, we did do this, so I'm, I'm behind or something. Where am I? Your relief is on the way, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, these are these are duplicates, man. Okay, so I'm I'm screwed up again. I uh, heart these things for a reason, and the heart has disappeared. Okay, here they are, right here. Nine hours, folks. Nine thirty-six dementia. Nine thirty-six at Burnside. I have found your person. Wonderful, Monique. You have him on your bus. His name is Alexander. I do. We were just trying to figure out where he was going. Yes, he's on my bus right now. Alexander, dementia patient. Awesome. All right, are you done for the night? I was going to turn around and go back to Gresham, but yeah, I'm almost done for the night. Okay, you're headed. Are you? You're trying to burn down town, right? That's correct. Sorry, I'm in first position. Uh, at uh, let me let me tell everybody behind me they can go around me just a second, okay? Let me call 911, I'll call you back. Just continue rolling, okay? I copy that. I'm going to go down to Flanders. All right. Keep... Part two. Well, 943. I have uh, just got a, one of the message about a, a, a man with dementia. I picked up a man um, oh. saying that description going the this other way. This is a different man. I picked him up I mean, at 50 and dropped him off at 50 seconds. I'm not sure if that will help. That's a different thing. That's a different thing. We actually have found him. Uh, my partner's on the phone right now with the bus that has him, so we're about to put a message out that he has been found. Uh, but thank you. Oh, that's wonderful news. Okay, thank you. Part three. Nine thirty-six. Uh, hey, Monique. Okay, so can you keep Alexander on your bus? They're going to meet you in Gresham Transit at Gresham Transit Center. If he tries to get off your bus or gets off your bus anywhere, call me back priority so I can let them know, okay? Absolutely. I told, I told him that we were going to stay together and that, um, that I was going to take care of him. Awesome. And he's all good with that? He's all happy? And, yeah, he has he suffers from dementia, so um, I appreciate that. That's awesome. Yeah, no problem, yeah. I picked him up at, uh, uh, gosh, I picked him up, um, oh gosh, where the 71 meets up, uh, at 50 seconds. So, yeah, I don't know how he got there. Okay, yeah, we had another 9 called in right after you and said that's where she dropped him off. So, he's, he's probably confused. I guess he was last seen somewhere like around, uh, 74th and Division. So he was probably just trying to figure out how to get back to where he was. So we're going to get him some help in Gresham. If he gets off, let me know. Okay, yeah. He said that he goes to East Taylor Apartments is where he thinks he goes to. All right. And he's home. 936 to Davis. All right, Monique. I know you got him home or back with the police. He's going to be safe. You are really late, but uh, you, well, you, I don't think you are the last one. Uh, 9.40 is the last one, but it's a half an hour away. So go ahead and run it late, just don't forget the time slip, okay? No problem, yeah. I'll see who's out there. Um, yeah, 9.40 is probably going to be the one that's picking up or picked up everybody from downtown. I'll see if there's anybody left out on the street, because um, I'm the last bus that goes out to Gresham. So 9.40 only goes as far as uh, 90 seconds. Yeah, but she doesn't leave downtown until, um, like, 1.30, so you're still ahead of her. So go ahead and just run it as if you're a regular service and just go ahead and time slip. Perfect. Yeah, what a sweet guy, man. Um, so, yeah, this is, uh, I guess this is the fourth person that the uh, police has found. So, um, and it's just so good to see him back with the police. So, yeah, this was great. So I'm glad we, glad we got him back. Yeah, success. Nine through seven, car on track at North Pole. You can disregard. There was a car in the throw up here, the Rose Quarter, or not the Rose Quarter, the, the North throat. Terminal area for the, the trains. This guy's not out. where the bus is parked, but inside of the track area. This the car got right out of here. So the car is still there, or did it get out of there? No, he came all the way down into this throw up area, and he realized his mistake and made a U-turn and went out on the 
tracks that came into this place on the outbound tracks going out of town. Okay, so he's down in the way now? Yeah, he's clear. I thought he was going to go down there, you know. You can't see down there when the train's coming around the corner down there or coming off that bridge. It's a blind spot, you know. It's bad. It's bad down there. I thought this is where it's going to go. My Chris priority. No, no problem. Not. Better safe than sorry. Have a good rest of your day. He's on the no, ball. Yeah, Thank you, China bus driver. Weird guy. Okay. All right, ditch time. 5772. Hey, dispatch. I'll let you know there's a sleeper. Oh, yeah. 209th and TV Highway Shelter. Those yeah. folks sitting outside, you know, unable to sit down because they've got stretched out inside the shelter. Yeah, yeah, the guy, yeah, they can't sit down. They, they all have homes, by the way. This guy doesn't. So here's what I propose for every bus shelter in Portland, right here. Here it is. See this? Behind every bus shelter should be a box of this size for the homeless people to sit and sit in and sleep in rather than the bus shelter so the bus riders can sit down i mean this is a this will give him shelter and allow for the bus riders to sit down while they wait for the bus yes my solutions are always brilliant 1513 kill mall driver by the way 1513 long term good morning this is 1513 eastbound on house I just wanted to let you guys know that I ended up taking a wrong turn. I think I can make up the time, but I just wanted to notify you, uh, let you know that I'm back on the right track. We don't right, take that kind of excuse. So you're able to get yourself back on track. That's fine. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you. Have a wonderful morning. We don't take that. Oh, thank okay, you. we don't care about that. What are we getting now? Yep. Useless. Um. Yeah. This is a pretty good, actually. Um. I don't know why that didn't show up on my feed. Let me see here. Oh, here it is. The scale of homelessness is much larger than what we can see. This is an important metro study, estimated 38,000. Here is this tweet. Over the last several years, voters passed housing bonds at the city of Portland, as well as a metro tax, and it's done nothing. And um, it has not helped what, what bill, one bit, Okay, and it's just a shame that people get sucked into this over and over and over. Okay, just a sec. To the people... No. God damn it. <sighs> okay. All right. Where is it? Just stop. Here it is. All right. Negative twenty dollars. All right, twelve seventy five alarm. <laughs> We have this wonderful sound quality here. Yeah, it's wonderful, isn't it? 
part two. We had an inbound on Barber and meet up with 1275, vehicle 2811. It just threw us down an alarm. They're just leaving, uh, or they're just uh, almost approaching Barber and Hamilton now. I copy. I'm in mean, uh, towards me. You can understand that guy. All right. Biohazard. 7505, northbound uh, 45th at uh, New Matilla. Hey, 7505, I got your request to talk. What's going on? Hey, it's uh, that uh, person in Milwaukee put the all call out on the, the brown uh, hoodie and gray shorts. Uh, I had him on my bus. Uh, do I need to get a new bus? No. Can you check the area that he was sitting and see if he left anything behind for you? Yeah, I wouldn't put the seat up just in case I didn't see anything. There wasn't no, anything on the seat. Uh, his shorts didn't seem to be soiled or yeah, anything. He didn't but, uh, any calls at all. Calling just to be safe. Well, come on, man. Yeah, I would just uh, leave the seat up and check it out before you call. Silent alarm, they think it's mechanical. This should work. Go ahead, transit 3750. 3750, about your steps. Go ahead, sir. Hey, I got that silent alarm. Um, I went on that same bus yesterday over in the Lloyd District. I think that bus is having mechanical issues. Yeah, I copy that. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we have to treat it as a real one if it's not. Yep. I got you. I think you have a supervisor route. I do, but they're coming from Tualatin because that bus has a stop on Barber. We're just approaching Capitol Highway right now. Okay. Uh, does it service uh, Barber Transit? Uh, if it is on route, yes, it's supposed to. Okay. I'm there now. I'll have something there. Station agent call. Do you want out of your tripper? Uh, let's see. I am block 240 this morning, and uh, I'm at uh, Powell Alley Road. Uh, good morning, 240. Hey, uh, station agent called and want to know if you want out of your tripper this afternoon since there's five hours in between. Yes, that would be very awesome. <laughs> All right, wow. I'll let him know. Okay, just tell him uh, I'll give him a call after this trip and uh, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll just give him a call. All right, copy that. Thank you, sir. Be uh, clear at 754. You have five hours in between shifts. That's great. What a great job. 401, unresponsive. Three, four, three, and one. I have a uh, passenger that just doesn't want to respond. What's that? Uh, I'm not drawing with them. They don't respond. Okay, you mean like he's asleep or he's having a medical issue or you're not sure? Oh, I'm not sure. I don't know. His head down. I'm speaking loud to him. Uh, I haven't tried speaking over the phone, the our PA, but I'm going to try it now. Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, uh, no, I don't hear, or I don't see no response from you. Okay, can you go, just kind of go near him, not directly in front, you know, and just see if he's breathing? That's going to be hard to tell because his, his head is down. But I'll go see what I can see. Well, there you man, Terry. Okay, there. yeah, just kind of see if you can look at his chest or anything, see, you know, see if you see anything going up and down. <laughs> Sleep in medical, part two. Oh, line four, train one. Yeah, it does look like he's breathing. Okay, so do you think he's sleeping, or do you think I need to call medical for him? I don't know what's wrong with him. I was off, but I spoke to him. Seems like he was responding to something. So your guess is better than mine. Uh, I don't know how you want to handle it. Okay, I'm gonna call medical. Give me a description of the guy. His age and race, approximately. He he's probably about six foot, uh, black. Um, age, I'd say maybe 
35 maybe um red or a green sweat a jacket um I think black pants oh, wait he's waking up part three Blue line four train one uh that passenger seems to be awake now um he seems to be alert. Uh, he's moving his other hand around and he's up. He was speaking with another driver there for a minute. Okay, can you ask him if he's okay? If, if he has a destination? Maybe see what's going on with him? Yes, he says that uh, he's okay and he's headed to Dawson Park. Okay, I'm going to cancel medical then. Thank you. Um, go ahead and roll. Okay, then, ma'am, and thank you. Thank you. I don't know, man, these uh, housing grifters here who have all this tax money and is doing nothing. It's doing nothing. We know, the, we know the challenge. We know the solution. Yeah, sure you do. They don't know anything, man. You know, the, the government is the wrong people to handle this. Gas Weed Whacker. 203. Hey there, 203. I got your request to talk. What's going on? Yeah, um, they're probably heading towards the 130th Division, but um, at the stop at 13100 blocks up East Division Street going towards downtown, um, there's um, three people, um, um, one with the stroller, but there's a guy that was, um, who had a, a, a weed, um, weed Whacker. And there was a gas one, and he tried to tell me it was like water or something like that. It was a plug-in, and, it, and I'm pretty, pretty familiar on your tool, so he's trying to get on the, on the bus. So let's see what we can do about letting other people know that um, that it is a um, gas-operated uh, weed whacker. And they're at 131 Division. That's and good. Kill them all. Make sure you check. Did you check it? Did you tell them to have you open it up so you could smell it and see if there's gas? Did you check that? Did it have a plug? Georgetown. Yeah, they're walking um, towards 130th, but they might be past that. Uh, I know they're trying to get on a bus because he was trying to get on with it and try to tell me that it was um, something else. And I'm pretty familiar with your tool, so uh, it didn't pass me too much. <laughs> <laughs> Who fucking cares? Not likely that anything's going to happen if you take it. 415, call my ambulance. Hello. 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 Okay, so I can call them an ambulance if they would like. That's the only way that I can provide any sort of transport over to the hospital. All right, I'll have her get off at the bus stop because she, she's not moving, so. <laughs> well, ask her if we need to call an ambulance and I'll call it for her. She wants to call you an ambulance? If that's how you're going to get there. Well, what's the answer? Yeah. Yeah, she's a death. Okay. All right. Hang up. I'll call her an ambulance, and uh, you're going to have to hold on until we get an ambulance on scene. I'm going to have to wait here. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, that's what you got to do. That's the policy. Okay. Scanner stars. 1705. Oh, the English guy. English guy. The one no, no, you. Uh, I just wanted you guys to pass on to the rail side that uh, train 417 Orange Line has a headlight out. Well, that's very nice of you, but I'm sure they handle that without you. Now, here's some good stuff. Watch this. That. What? Wait, 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 wait. wait. There's all the Confederate flags. Look at that. Blue Lives Matter, the f f Confederate flags. We are American, and you're not going to make us take any of those damn minorities around here. And there it is, right there. The Trump. Trump merchandise. It's a Trump it's store. Trump merchandise, right, 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 on, right on the highway, man. Isn't that something? Trump merchandise. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I can't quit laughing. I mean, it's it is funny. 
He's taking it from across the street, but don't worry, we're going to get more of this. Hi, y'all. Let me show you something here. <laughs> I'm driving down to the beach here. <laughs> and uh, so here I am, and I'm about halfway from Gainesville to, to St. Augustine, and I see these Confederate flags <laughs> along the road. And then look, look at this right here, Trump merchandise. <laughs> You could just pull right over in your car and buy Trump merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> I could I couldn't help but periscope that. <laughs> that is a class. That is a classic. It is. He's, <laughs> yeah. He's right about that, man. All right, now he's got another one here. Let's see. Here he goes into the store. This is cool. Watch. Which one would you like, Al? <laughs> Which one would you like, Al? This yeah. one? This Keep one. Keep America great. <laughs> America's in the worst shape it's ever been. This Look one. Look at Trump with this. Look at this stuff, will you? This one. President of the United States. This one. No more bullshit. Fuck. <laughs> you got this one. Yeah, I think this is my favorite one right here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. That's a good one. Man. So That's worth the whole trip right here. there. Make liberals cry again. Yay for President <laughs> Donny Tiny. Hand. Yeah, I think I like. I think I like the tank one too. I think that's my favorite. Yeah, the tank one's good, no doubt about it. And we got uh, this is definitely a blue lives matter, no black lives. Okay, and that's a wrap for. Oh wait, wait, is it? The wall is coming, and you people are so stupid that you buy this shit. And that is shocking to me that you're so easily fooled by a charlatan demagogue.